The grand groundbreaking ceremony of the Ram Mandir took place on the 5th of August. It was initiated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and ever since now there's all talk about the structure and the design of the Ram Mandir that will come up in Ayodhya. It is said that the Ram Mandir will be the third largest Hindu shrine which will be constructed by the Sompuras. In fact, it's said that architects Nikhil Sompura and Ashish Sompura, sons of the project's chief architect Chandrakant Sompura will be designing this massive structure of the temple. Now the question is who are the Sompuras? Apparently, the Sompuras are the family of temple builders. 77-year-old Chandrakant Sompura, in fact, began working on the Ram Temple some 30 years ago after he first visited the site with then Vishwa Hindu Parishad President Ashok Singhal. In fact, industrialist Ghansham Das Brilla asked him if he could take up the Ram Mandir project and introduced him to Singhal. Sompura has in fact worked on several of the Brilla temples in the past. From then to now, the Sompuras have built over 200 grand temples across the globe. In fact, Chandrakan's son Ashish is the one who's drawn out the site plan for Ram Janmabhoomi in Ayodhya. He's currently in Ayodhya. He's coordinating with Larson and Turbo, who've been awarded the contract of building the Ram Mandir. Ashish's other projects include the private temple in Ambani home at Antilla in Mumbai. The Sompura family has built the Akshardham temples in the country as well as the Bocha Sanvasi, Akshar Purshottam, Swami Narayan, Sansta temple in Neesden, United Kingdom. Now, how did the Sompuras learn the art of temple making? The Sompuras believe that they have been gifted. They believe that they were taught the art of temple building by the divine architect Vishwakarma himself. In fact, the Sompuras who came from Palitana town of Bhavnagar consider themselves to be the residents of the moon. Ashish learned the art of temple making from his father and his grandfather Prabhashankar who built the Somnath temple in Gujarat. And as per the new layout of the Ram temple, it would now be constructed over 76,000 to 84,000 square feet while the original plan was to be 37,590 square feet. So now, what will the Ram temple look like? The temple has now been planned in the Nagar Shaili, a style of temple architecture where the temple tower is built over the Sanctum Sanctorium. And the other major style is the Dravidian, which includes Gopurams and is far bigger than what had really been originally planned. The unique feature of the Ram Temple will be the octagonal shape of the Sanctum Sanctorium. In keeping with the design provided in the Shastras for a temple dedicated to Lord Vishnu, the Ram Temple will be built on a raised platform and will have four features of a typical Hindu temple. The Chauki, which is a veranda, Nitya Mandap, semi-covered porch, the Gud Mandap, covered porch, and the Garba Griha, which is a sanctum sanctorium aligned on a single axis. The Sompuras initially assumed that the project will take about three and a half years to be completed, but it appears that the pandemic has pushed it forward by another six to eight months. The Uttar Pradesh government has now announced a series of developmental projects and beautification projects around the Ram Temple in Ayodhya at a cost of about 500 crores. They are expecting huge footfall by 2024 after the long-awaited Ram Temple is expected to be completed. In fact, there are plans to promote Ayodhya as a big religious tourism destination. The advanced planning of Ayodhya not just includes a new airport as well as a new railway station, but also an upgrade to the nearby highway along with the local tourist spots.